Welcome to part 10 of our Toyota Hilux Overland build series. This one doesn't really have anything to do with the vehicle itself, but <laughs> more to do with something that makes spending many days in a row on a proper adventure, 4x4 adventure, camping adventure, bearable, and that is a hot water system. Now, this is something that I knew I wanted right from the start. I just didn't really know what system I needed to achieve what I wanted to get and how much it would cost. But I think I found a fantastic solution and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. There is nothing worse than climbing into a tent at night uh, covered by a layer of sweat, maybe a layer of sunblock, maybe a layer of dust sticking to your sunblock and maybe with smoke in your hair and smoke in your clothes. It's just not ideal, especially if you're going to be out for a few nights in a row. Get to the point where you're sleeping in your own filth and it's no longer fun and you want to go home. So showers are pretty important, but a cold shower in the middle of winter is not really an option unless you want to get hypothermia. <laughs> and you don't really want to limit your adventures to summer only. You, you, want to, you want to be able to get out and enjoy the whole year. So what do you do about hot water? In summer, you can get away with a little bag, black bag, solar geezer that you hang up and something that I started off with and it, it worked pretty well, but winter is a different story. So you need hot water. I came across a number of options for uh, obtaining hot water. The first option I tried was to simply boil water in a kettle and pour it into my solar geezer bag and then add cold water and have a shower that way. It just took a lot of time and to boil enough hot water to have a good shower uses a lot of gas and is not an efficient way of doing things. The other option is I saw that you've got kind of these little 12 volt water heater systems which looks like a little, I think it's a 5 or 10 liter geezer that sits somewhere in your vehicle and while you drive it slowly heats up through your 12 volt system and when you get to your campsite you can pull out your shower head and have a quick shower. That works well, but I couldn't really find anything like that locally in South Africa. Eventually I came across this, which is a, a gas water heater made by a company called Elva, and it really just ticks all the boxes. So let's speak about this quickly and I'll tell you how it works. The first thing you should know about this is it is a 100% portable unit. It comes in a nice carry bag. It's designed to be able to take anywhere. You get some gas geezers that physically are fitted into your vehicle and those can work great. But I've actually already, just in the couple of trips I've used this on, have found situations where I've actually wanted to move this away from the vehicle. For one, to create a puddle of water right next to your vehicle in a, sa a sandy area, you're gonna get your feet full of mud. It's not really ideal. So in the one camping trip where I've used this, I've moved my, the entire system underneath a nice big fig tree and move the shower area underneath this beautiful tree away from camp. That worked really well. Um, but if you want to use it right next to your vehicle, that's also an option. The way this works is you buy a three kilogram gas bottle. Just, that's all you need, nice and small, nice and light. I put a canvas cover on this so I don't get dust everywhere and it doesn't bump around in the vehicle. This comes with a, a hose and a, what do they call it, a, a pressure regulator. Kind of like what's on an air gun, but just obviously a much lower pressure, attaches to the bottle, and then you've got two of those large, I think they're, a, ah, I can't remember what size battery, but these two batteries that sit in here for the, for the igniter, and once you've switched on the on switch and connected to the gas, all you need to do is turn on your water flow, and as mo in the moment it senses there's water flowing through it, it switches on. I guess I should take it out and show you. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the easiest way. Ah. Here's the unit. On top, you've got your, your heat setting. Lower, higher, you can adjust this while you're having a shower or while you're heating water. Um, and then here's where all the good stuff happens. Power on and off. You've got a, a tap over here to control the flow of water. You've got your water, water input and you've got your water output, which is a nice little faucet. Um, you can put this over a a container when you're washing dishes or if you want to clean your hands or something and have instant hot water flow you don't have to boil water 
you don't have to wait for it to heat up it's within a few seconds it's hot you're not wasting water and then you can also connect a shower hose directly onto this little faucet like that and you've got an on and off switch you've got different settings for the hose and you can either hold it with your hands or you can strap it up in a tree or I've got a front one front runner shower arm that connects to the roof rack and conveniently fits right in there and I've got a shower so I can shower hands free so that is fantastic and very easy to pack up very easy to connect and this whole system cost I think 2700 Rand which I'll do the dollar conversion and put on the screen in terms of a, a water input this whole system did come with a 10 liter water bag which essentially you put on your the roof of your vehicle and it creates a gravity feed down to the unit um, however I didn't like the idea of a gravity feed because when you don't have a constant water flow that water is being heated unevenly so you might start off with your bag full and your, wa your water is flowing quicker so it's a little bit cooler and then towards the end of your shower with the water flowing slower it starts to get cold or sorry it starts to get too hot and then you, you're spending all your time adjusting settings and you're not actually enjoying your shower so what I did is the unit also comes with a 12 volt water pump so you'll plug this into your input and you'll put your 12 volt water pump in a water source on the other side and the moment you plug it in whether that's to the the vehicle or whether it's to a little power bank I've got a little power bank with a 12 volt output that this plugs straight into um, your water will start flowing and that I found is a fantastic way to have a nice shower the cable it comes with for your 12 volt uh, car socket input is very long so you can actually shower quite a distance away from your vehicle but as I said those little power banks with a 12 volt output I think works even better the one issue with the 12 volt pump is that it's too big to fit into most water tank lids the hole and the most lids are just, just too small which is super inconvenient I wish they would change that however I found a way around it I bought a collapsible 10 liter bucket it's small it, uh, it's compact it's light and it fits right on top here and I can use this for transporting water I can use it for washing dishes I can use it for anything um, so it's very convenient and something you should probably get anyway but this 10 liter size is great because I can put my water for showering whether it's from a tank in a jerry can or a tank fitted permanently in a vehicle and you can decide okay I want to have a 5 liter shower or I want to have a 7 or 10 liter shower you fill your bucket where you need it and you can physically watch when you're about to run out of water and you can either top it up or you can wait till it finishes and you have control over what water you're using if you just run this straight from a tank and you get too cozy in your shower you could be in a situation where you use all your water and that is not good what makes this whole system great as well is with that little portable power bank I can take this 12 volt pump and the bucket or a tank I can find a fresh water source like a river or a spring or a little puddle rain puddle and I can go to it and I can simply pump water straight back into a tank on the side of the road and fill up for my shower later that evening one thing you do not want to do is to connect it to your drinking water source and run out of drinking water in the middle of nowhere that is not safe I guess this creates a dilemma when we talk about water storage because a good shower will probably you know, a quick shower is probably five liters uh, a decent shower is probably seven liters and a nice shower is probably 10 liters and let's say you've got two people that's 20 liters of water per day if you want to shower every day that you're carrying it's a lot of water so that extra weight you know can you justify carrying that extra weight what we're doing right now is we have a 25 liter uh, water tank portable water tank that we've we kind of strap down um, in the, the back compartment of the vehicle with ratchet straps and um, I'm happy to carry the extra 25 liters uh, of weight and we can top that up every day or two when we need it um, that separates our main 40, 40 liter drinking water supply from our shower water supply the shower water can be from a puddle whereas drinking water you probably want to fill up from a safe and reliable source for drink for drinking 
So keeping those supplies separate is super important. That works for now. However, in the future, what my plan is, is to get a 55 liter tank that can fit in the footwell by the rear seats. It's uh, the right place to have all that weight. It's low down between the wheels. It's not on the roof. For goodness sake, don't put 40 plus liters of water on your roof. All that extra weight up there, it's not only dangerous, but <laughs> your roof racks are not, not meant to hold that much weight. Something's going to go wrong at some point. 55 liter tank at the footwell in the rear seat where we do not carry passengers is a great place to put it. And that water supply we can keep topped up with the bucket and the 12 volt pump. And that should be very sustainable for the future. As for this, highly recommend it. Works extremely well. And that is where we're going to end this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.